Good morning. I'm just going to show you how to make a couple of very basic pedal, pulley pedal rigs. I uh, hope to go fishing this afternoon. It was a very windy gale force day yesterday, so uh, if I can get down there today, there might be a few fish about. So what we start with is the body of the rig, which in this case is 60 pound body rig line. This is Ultima Power Flex, quite a reasonably inexpensive line, but a very good one. So all we do basically to start with, we're just going to put on the bits that we're going to need on the main body. And on the main body, we're going to have the clip there for the leg. And these clips are very good because you can actually cast these off the ground in a clip position. Because what you do is there's some tiny little holes in here. You pull this back like that as far as it will go and you put your hook in there and that's ready for casting then you don't touch it again when it hits the water the splashdown causes this to jump back up push your hook out 100% effective always works very good piece of kit so we tie that on with a simple blood knot always just wet it to stop the line from burning then we pull it down as tight as it will go watch your hands you can always use a pair of pliers if you have to just snip the access off like so this is going to be quite a short pedal because what I don't want today especially there will be a lot of weed about so I don't want it too long in the tide so I'm going to say that long to the first bit and then we take it again to about there and I will have a hook length of about a foot. I don't want any more than that. So if I snip it off there, like so, that's basically the start of your pulley pedal. Then what we need to put on is the actual, always, I always put too many beads, but it's just a, a thing with me, but I slip a bead on, it's just a straightforward bead. This is the component that makes it a pulley pedal and basically what it is is a swivel and a rubber O that you could that it'll slide through. This bit here, the silver swivel, goes to your main line clip. So we slip that on like that, just let that go down. Again, another swivel, uh, another bead, sorry. Put that on. Again, I'll probably put too many beads on but they're not very expensive. Then what we want is a swivel, and I've got a little number six swivel there, plenty effective enough, and this is your stopper for the pedal rig, and also allows your hook length to swivel about. So again, just a simple blood dot. I'll just wet it. Pull it tight. Lift off the access or excess. Right, now you'll get to see the idea. If I take that down to there, you see, what you've got is when that swivel now hits the bead, that stops. This is where your hook length is. So you've got your lead on here. This is just basically a buffer bead for the bottom so that when it goes to there, it doesn't go over the knot and affect your knot. So that's where we are at this stage. What we need then is my choice of hook length is 20 pounds and easier. It's a little bit stronger than monofilament. It doesn't twirl about. If you get a lot of whiting trouble, you can find that uh, they do tend to swivel your, your line now quite a lot on the hook for today. It's going to be a double hook and it's a Sakuma. Manta in 2.0. So we take two of those out. Quite a substantial hook because I'm not going fishing for tiny whiting. I'm hoping today after that blow there might be a bass or something about worth catching. And then all we do for the simple rig, sometimes people use all sorts of bits of shrink sleeve and all sorts, but basically what I tend to do because I, I very rarely use the same rig twice with the same hooks on. So we just put that first hook on there and let that go down. 
take your second hook and again just the, the blood knot is the most efficient knot and to be honest you use it so often in sea fishing out fresh water it's certainly well worth learning how to tie it and it's so simple it's basically you hold the, the hook like so make a loop go around one two three four five six wet the line just so you don't get line burned put the tag back through the loop and then what I tend to do here is by using my clippers I put the hook on the clippers and just let it pull tight so that you don't hurt your fingers should anything slip pull it up tight like that make sure it's all nice and tight cut off the tag Right, now we've got the hook at the base and we've got the floating hook if you like there. We're going to have a hook length and the great thing with the pedal is until you actually set it you can pretty much play about with the hook length. So I'm going to, <coughs> pardon me, go for quite a short hook length. So we slip that off. Then we tie it to our swivel like so. Again, the good old blood knot. Through there and wet it. Watch the hooks now because they do tend to find flesh if they get the chance. Pull that up tight. Take the tail off. And there we have basic pulley pedal. Doesn't look very much does it? To keep this secondary hook once you, you if you're using lug worms you just get the length of the lug worm put it on your hook as normal when you get the head to about here just go around the hook three times and that holds it perfectly okay like that. And that goes the same for fish baits and also of course you can move it to the sides of your bait. <laughs> so if you're using say a, a piece of squid you don't want it quite as long, you can have it like so. I'll just put a small lead on this and it will give you a rough idea of what it actually looks like completed. I won't put a salt water lead on, I'll just put a little fresh water lead on because it's only just to show you basically how it all works. So your lead clips on there like so. quite a tight bit but of course it has to be right so there we are that's how it is you connect this bit here to your main line bait your bait on put your bait on and then when you're ready to cast pull that down to expose the little hole in the thing put that through there like so and you're ready to go and that's a nice neat little rig that onto your main line. When you cast out, as it hits the water, that will splash, release your hook. And then you have only, what's that, eight inches, about an eight inch hook length. You could vary that just by taking the hook off, making this bit longer. Very, very simple, very, very effective. Catch everything that swims. And then we just get ourselves one of these self-sealing bags. Take the lead off obviously, you don't need that on there. All I do is I just gently wind it round watching the hooks. I've got a couple more of these to make because I'm going to be fishing a moderately rocky area so I might lose one or two. But there it is, all done. Cost us what, 10 minutes of our time? Job done. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see any other rigs made, drop us something in the comments and if it's possible I'll do it. Thank you very much. Goodbye.